guys, XX Rapid Fire back here with y'all once again. Um, on my Let's Play White Night Chronicles 2. Uh, yeah, we finally had a, t a chance to get back here at last. Um, we've been in the middle of a couple projects that we've already started. And, uh, yeah, decided that we should uh, come back here today to continue on. Um, where we last left off in the uh, previous video, if you guys remember right. Um, we came to Van Haven Waste to, uh, locate the, uh, Moon Maiden's Ark, um, and in a cutscene, uh, we wind up seeing, uh, a Windwalker, uh, being chased by a couple of Wiperns, so we put that aside a moment to, uh, wind up, you know, chasing, uh, him down to catch up with him so we could deal with the Wiperns. Uh, we had gotten there, uh, and we had just made it in time, and we had a chance to deal with the Wiperns before they had a chance to turn our young friend into Windwalker Soup. Um, so yeah, now we're going to, uh, uh, after that, we shortly uh, had met up with um, Osmed, who happens to be the uh, the king of the Windwalkers, and an old friend as well from back from White Knight Chronicles, uh, ex Captain Cyrus, who used to obviously run the uh, royal um, army and stuff for for Balindor. So yeah, now. Um, now we met up with them, they uh, have a plan to take down Australian's uh, outpost areas throughout uh, the Van Haven Waste. So now we're uh, teaming up with ex-Captain Cyrus to, um, to, deal with, to deal with the Australian threat. And, uh, and, and I'm pretty sure it leads up, uh, like we'll still be on the quest for the Moon Maiden arc, of course. So yeah, that'll be in the uh, title description as well, because that's pretty much what this is, you know, leading up to. All this that we're doing here now is going to lead up to, to when the big moment comes, or when Yuli's big moment finally comes. All right, so let's go ahead and continue on. We're uh, at Van Haven Waste in the Windwalker Hideout, so let's go ahead and continue. Yeah, I tried to make these uh, opening um, recaps uh, two minutes, if not, you know, maybe a little over two minutes, but no longer than at least two, two minutes. We don't even hit the three minute marker on these uh, recap uh, commentaries here for y'all to uh, recap y'all on what's going on. And I'm guessing that the words down there below the uh, White Knight Chronicles emblem and the spinning around it, it's uh, now loading, I guess. I don't know. It could be European writing for now loading or Japan writing for now loading. I don't know. We never looked into that. Um, okay, so yeah, we're right here at the uh, Logic Stone save point. We're in the uh, Windwalker's hideout, so yeah. Now we're going to want to make our way uh, back up to the top side because as you guys can see here that, uh, that we're showing you here now, um, there is no destination point anywhere underground in the uh, Van Haven Waste uh, Caverns. So what we're going to obviously do here is wind up going up uh, top side and... Uh, and destination points probably gonna most likely be there so okay so yeah and we were able to uh, tinker around uh, on the last video and get uh, Braveheart some new armor which is cool um, but it kind of sucks that you know the armor is like kind of separated throughout certain parts of the game <clears throat> because uh, you know there's several ch times there that we need higher level armor and we weren't able to get it right away so all right moving on with the battle <coughs> that dragon spider uh, traveled pretty far <laughs> see how far that traveled that traveled at least a good 10 to 10 to 15 feet that was pretty good distance on that uh, okay Another dragon spire here. And you're done. I like this guy. He's like a one hitter, man. Like I'm telling you. I shit you not. This guy is like a freaking one hitter. Freaking. Like he's a one hitter machine, man. <laughs> like, watch this. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Braveheart is just like a one hitter machine, man. He just destroys everything. I'm telling you. You know, elemental magic or elemental, uh, yeah, magic is the, probably one of the best uh, skill sets you're going to want to have on at least one or two of your characters, if not more. 
I mean, it's not required, you know, for more than two characters, but if you decide to put it on more than two characters, then, I don't know, by all means, go ahead. As long as you have a counterbalance, you know, or somewhat of a balance for, you know, certain weapons. Okay, as you guys can see, the destination point is right here on the left side, and the lo near the lower uh, left-hand corner. Um, so yeah, we're gonna obviously have to go all the way around here, uh, to get to this destination point, um, unless if, uh, it links up somehow to, uh, this, which I doubt it does, it doesn't look like it to me, um, so yeah, we're gonna want to, uh, take the other way around, so yeah, we're gonna have to go back down underground, and, uh, and it's right down there, so the pattern we're gonna want to take is, uh, We'll come up, uh, we'll go back this way and see where this takes us, um, right up here, because we're thinking it's somewhere, like, right in there, I'm guessing, I would think, or it's either, it's either in this pathway here with the save point right there, or it's in that pathway with that save point right there, that's, that's right where I'm gonna guess that it is. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and see if we can't make it through. Some of the doors are going to be locked, though, so we may have to take alternate pathways. Um, until we do a certain thing. I can't remember what it was, but if we do a certain thing, it unlocks some of the doors that are locked. But I can't remember what it is at the moment. Like I said, it's been a little bit since i played this game. Like, I haven't touched this game in, like, what, 10 months? 12 months, maybe? So, it, you know, it kind of stop thinking about one certain game when you're playing multiple other games so uh let's see go ahead and go here and we're gonna try what should we try this first over here this ain't too far away if these doors are unlocked otherwise if they're not we're gonna have to you know find an alternate route that you know gets to the other side of where we want to get to I'm telling you man those elementals man just are destroyers man like I feel sorry for every single last one of these guys, you know, I really do, because they just have no idea what they're in for, like, really don't. And the cool thing is, since we have ex-Captain Cyrus with us, we uh, have four players now in the party, um, so that's, that's a plus. For now, anyway, I will not spoil anything, but for now, I'm just gonna say for now, we have four players in the party. That's all I, and that's all I will leave it at. Because for some of y'all who never played this game and are seeing it for the first time, I don't want to spoil everything. Like, I will go as far as saying that we have four members in the party for now. And that's about it. Other than that, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to try to give away too much. Okay. Well, it wasn't his his uh, his weakness, but it put him down in one hit nonetheless. That comes to show you how powerful elementals are, man. You don't even have to get a critical hit on him, and sometimes you can put him down in one shot. That's like pretty powerful, man. When you can do something like that, like you know you're winning. All right, let's see if this door is open. Moment of truth. Dun dun dun. Yes. All right, it is open. Now we're talking. Okay, well, we got the save point right up here. Let's try to see if this door is going to open over here. Because we don't know if it's going to open yet. Dun, dun, dun. Yes! All right. Oh, wait. This ain't the door. Crap. <laughs> All those dramatic sounds for no reason. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, believe it or not, guys, this is where we're gonna find Yuli's, uh, Moon Maiden, uh, arc is right here in this, uh, area, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's somewhere here, isn't it? Yeah, it's somewhere over here. Let's, uh, well, we can't cross the water, right, to get to that. So, how do we get to that? Oh, I see, okay. Alright. Well, that's cool. Wait, how, okay, I was gonna say, how, how are we getting out of here now? <laughs> Did we get ourselves trapped? I was gonna say, I didn't think this game had a freaking way to trap you, but who knows, you know? I've never literally uh, physically tried to get trapped. Um, 
All right, so the chest is over here. Uh, where was it again? Okay, over that way. All right, so we just go around this way to get to it. Because I'm just dying to see what's in that chest. And we all know that when XX Fire sees a chest, he must go and do what he always does. And that's pick it up. Okay. Fiend Slayer sent to Artifact Bag. Fiend Slayer. Huh. Okay. Well. I guess we could see what that is. It said items bag, so. Fiend Slayer. Huh. What is that? I'm not seeing it yet. Could be at the bottom, I guess. Uh, Fiend Slayer, Fiend Slayer. I'm not seeing it yet. I'm not seeing Fiend Slayer. Is it a weapon? I guess it could be a weapon. Let me see. Fiend Slayer. No, nothing in here about Fiend Slayer. Uh, Shook Yu Lee. Yes. No, she ain't got a, a second row of stuff. Eldor does. But no, no I'm not seeing it in his either. Scardine? No. Nothing. Hmm. Fiend Slayer. Hey. Okay. I'm, not, I'm not seeing it. Yeah, it shows everything, but I'm not seeing it. Huh, Fiend Slayer. It's some kind of material, I'm not seeing it on here. I mean, I'm looking through all the materials, but I'm not seeing anything in here called Fiend, Sl Fiend Slayer. Huh, Fiend Slayer, Fiend Slayer. Fiend Slayer. Not seeing it. I don't get it. Huh. Whatever. I don't know. Huh. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's Fiend Slayer right here. Oh, okay. So this is, uh, finally we got, uh, it's not, it, it seems like we finally found, uh, the, uh, <laughs> Caesar's Dragon Knight's ultimate spear, the Fiend Slayer. Um, so yeah, we can equip that to his uh, to his knight and give him an, ad an additional uh, AD attack. So yeah, so that's where Caesar's uh, item was, and I forgot to mention that to you guys too. Is that uh, both uh, Yui's knight and uh, once we get Yui's knight, but uh, both Caesar's knight and Yui's knight has uh, an actual artifact weapon that they can uh, be equipped to them. Um, Caesar's Spear, I think, gives him an extra, another extra additional attack or two extra additional attacks, um, that are pretty, that are actually pretty good, um, they're like his best attacks to have, um, and Yuli's Knight actually gets a complete makeover on her command, uh, set, instead of having a bow, uh, the healing ability, and I think a couple other crap, uh, perks, uh, or commands, she gets... Uh, a bow and arrow shoots out a violet arrow that shoots out violet violet arrows, and she gets the ability to tr to control the four elementals, um, being earth, water, fire, and wind. And once once you get that bow equipped to her, she is so fucking overpowered. It is ridiculous. Like she could just destroy anything and everything. And this is one of the uh, doors I was telling you guys about. That uh, one of the doors I was telling you guys about that doesn't open. Unless if we get to the other side, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, um, so that that means that way is, is toast, guys. We can't, we pretty much can't go that way. Um, but we can try going the other way. But either way, yeah, getting back to uh, what I was talking about. Yui's knight is just so fucking overpowered when you get that extra, that uh, newer bow for her uh, knight. She just destroys with it, man. She just wipes everything out. Like, she's just so unstoppable with that bow equipped. It is like ridiculous how how powerful her knight becomes when you get that. And 
but the good thing is with that uh, with the uh, Fiend Slayer as well, which is uh, the Dragon Knight's uh, spear, it uh, gives him an extra additional attack, you know, two extra additional attacks as well. It makes him a little bit more powerful as well. So it's it's cool, you know. All right, so let's go ahead and try this door down here. This obviously has to be it since the other door is locked. All right, we're gonna change out characters too while we're at it. Let's go to uh, Yuli. Give Yuli a uh, run. Cause we've given enough love to uh, to Braveheart here, so yeah. And did we ever put? No, we didn't, did we? Well, we we gave him a nice little uh, nice little dark shot to the chest, so he you know so his accuracy isn't you know 100% all the time. Like he'll have to freaking work for it. He will have to wait work for it. Oh, I didn't even get to fire off my arrow. You guys suck. Are we hoarding kills again? We're better not be going down this road. I swear. I'm gonna ground you all if we're gonna be going down this road again. Oh my god, this is what I'm talking about. These guys just fucking steal my kills all the time. I swear, it sucks. Alright, uh, let's do some magic to uh, cure Yui, because she's, she's been poisoned. Okay, let's go uh, this way. Yeah, I love the uh, hundred cents because it, uh, or not the hundred cents, but the um, the uh, eagle eye skill. It's pretty good. I guess these guys ain't affected by uh, by being paralyzed. But his uh, weakness is Earth. Anytime you see a brown, uh, green, red, or blue uh, little plus signs right next to the skeletons, it means that that's the weakness that they uh, that they uh, can take. That they can't take anyway. Like once once you hit them with that weakness, it brings them down like really quickly, and they're weak to that element. So that's what's good about that, luckily. That's another way to bring down those uh, skeletons really quick. See? Just bring him down one shot, he's done. Over, done with. Alright, he's done. But we still got the scorpion over here that wants to try to play. He wants to try to be Mr. Tough Guy. And even Yuli's attacks, like we can almost like one hit shot kill somebody with Yuli's uh, bone arrow too. So they're getting pretty powerful now that they're getting one shot kills on enemies and stuff. This might be it right here, guys. I don't know. I don't know if I want to find out though. Um. I guess we could save right here in case if it ain't, because if it ain't, then we'll just, you know, we'll just go ahead and save anyway, and then we can stop the video right here in case if it isn't. Some tells me that this part of the video is going to take a couple parts, like we'll go probably go through like one or two parts of this video. I'm not going to say one, because it isn't guaranteed, so yeah, I'm going to say at least one or two videos that it's going to take for us to navigate our way through here. Alright, and uh, save is completed. Okay, let's uh, see if we called it right. Oh, I don't think so because if... Wait, hold on, there's two destination points. What the hell? So 
Since when was there two destination points? I don't remember seeing two. Huh. Okay. I must have not angled the camera right when I when I showed off the first destination point because I didn't catch that second one before, like at first. Okay. Well, it's just a simple little mistake in camera control. That's all. Nothing to worry about. They could have ten destination points, and I still wouldn't give two shits. I'd still own it just as freaking easily. Wait, hold on. We can go off this freaking edge here. But don't we want to go to this destination point up this way? Yeah, I think we'll do that in the next video, guys. Um, so if you have enjoyed, uh, make sure to leave a like and comment below. And of course, subscribe to keep up with all my stuff here on Gaming HD Tactics. This has been XX Rapid Fire. And I uh, hope to see you guys on the next one. Till then, everybody. XX Rapid Fire, and I'm out.